Okay, I'm just going to show you my uh, pig water heater. I originally built one that went around the chimney. But the problems with that were that it just got hotter and hotter and hotter and we couldn't actually have a shower out of it. We actually physically had to take the whole thing off because it boiled the water. So I've made this one. Um, I think it holds about 15 litres. It's made when the legs come off to fit in the jerry can holder on the back of the camper trailer. Um, this is the heating coil. It's silicon hose so it can handle the heat with a bit of aluminium on top. It's just refrigeration tube. It's not um, just copper tube. I normally put it in a plastic bag because the black gets inside. And that sits down in there for when we're travelling. And I also put the legs in there as well. Um, I've got a temperature gauge uh, that I got off eBay. I've got it onto the side. I'll show you shortly where it goes in. And a voltmeter just to tell me how the battery's getting on in the camper. So just around here. Just drilled a hole and siliconed it in. This is a caravan pressure pump. Um, when that turns on, it just pumps the hot water out. So we'll, I'll run this until it gets to 50 degrees, and then take the coil out and hang it up, and it will hold this 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 actual foam core board. Um, we'll hold it all together. So the board itself, here you can see on the side, it's a PVC 10 mil foam core board. I've put a bit of aluminium composite on the top just for the lid, but the actual board itself is PVC, and you can use plumber's PVC glue. Um, so I glue it all together with. There's a thick paste glue that's in a tube like toothpaste that you can put it together and screw it together and, and it holds the, it's, it has insulation properties so it holds the temperature really well. Um, this here, I just have to put the big hose, the top hose of the coil, a couple of hose fittings and they handle the 50 degrees no problem at all. I've, I've put a pipe in here to see what the water level is. I uh, don't really use it, but it does show that you can complain if someone's used too much water in their shower. Um, also, the way the coil's rolled, when I mean, it sits in the tank, it sits something similar to that. Level there. Cold water comes in at the, at the bottom. And then as the heat rises, the water goes up, and then goes up the top pipe and comes out. Silicon hoses handle the heat really well, and even the cable ties have never melted. So you open up the top of the pig, Put this in on top, like so, and you just leave it like that. And the, the cold water runs down the bottom pipe, and the hot water runs up. And um, you give it a stir every so often. I just use this stirring stick to give it a stir inside. Um, when it's 50 degrees, pull the coil out, hang it up on the side. And usually it's not that, you can hold these hoses, it's not that hot. And you can just put it up on there like that. Oops. Like that, there. And then just leave it. Uh, and the water stays hot for about an hour. So everyone can then shower. And being a caravan pressure pump, it pumps through one of these spray nozzles really well. So you just put it up inside and you can turn the tap on and off and the pump will stop. Um, so that works real well. I'll show, show you it working in action shortly. Alright, so we just remove the top, take this off, sit it down there. And the other cool thing is while that's going you can actually put your kettle or your pot or something on top there and carry on cooking while it's working because the aluminium plate works so well. And after a few seconds once it's been on there you'll actually see the air bubbles starting to run up through here and the temperature starting to increase. Um, it's important that the height of this is a lot higher so the water can go uphill. The initial first attempts at this I made it too low so now it's higher it's, um, it runs really well. If you get a hotter fire going obviously it'll be quicker to heat up. Um, I just did a measurement before with a bucket, I've never actually measured it before, it holds 20 litres. So, uh, and that's enough for uh, four people who have nice showers each day. Um, so we just use the shower tent here. And the water pressure off the caravan pump is... Um, it's nice pressure. And you can just turn that tap on and off or adjust the pressure while you're actually in the shower yourself. 
Uh, I'll leave a switch on it because sometimes the hose bursts <laughs> from the pressure. And that's the temperature now, 21.7. Um, I've only just put it on. If you have a look down here, you'll actually see the, the boiling water going up the pipe. You'll see the air bubbles travelling up the pipe there as the hot water is going in. So it started already. Okay, if you look down there in the, in the firebox, you'll see the copper coil on the top. Um, you could put more windings in. I've just tried it with that. It tends to boil the water if I have too long a length of copper pipe. That one works fine. And it's important that it fits inside the actual hot water box when you're finished, so it fits in your jerry can holder. I'm trying to, we don't have much space, and when we go camping, it, every little bit of space is used. Um, the flue di diameter that I built on this one is a bit on the on the actual pig is a bit too small. It chokes the fire up a little bit. Just on the 12 volt system, um, got a 12 volt cable here. This is hatches. It goes. This this runs. This is probably about 15 meters long. It runs back into the camper trailer. The, the pump doesn't draw much current, so that's fine. Um, I've also put a power outlet point there, and at the top up here I've got a, um, a light, an LED, little LED spotlight. That helps with um, just cooking at night or showering at night uh, when we come back after a long day. So, yeah, so it's 26.9. Um, if I give that a stir, it's not, it hasn't been on that long, so um, it might go up a little bit. But, uh, And there's a switch up there on the top there. Just going to make sure everything's clear of the top of the jerry can holder so that nothing gets broken off. This thing's been bashed around and gone on some pretty heavy trips. Um, seems to handle it. Uh, the only real problem I had, um, one of my cables was wired backwards and I blew the uh, temperature gauge. But apart from that, everything runs fine. So that's all I can tell you about uh, my pig hot water heater. Um, just uh, have a look in the comments below and you'll see where I bought all the products from and the names of the products when you ask for them. It's really easy to make. Um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.